Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and if you haven't, welcome. My name is Dion. I call this the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. Today we're going to talk about um, the green eyeshadow palettes that I have. And yeah, so we're going to do that. But the intro for if you're new here, I call this the Crazy Troll Nation. The crazy, just enjoying doing videos, enjoying whatever hobbies you have, and enjoying letting your authentic personality shine through. The troll part is not caring too much about the beauty community standards. Try not to feel like you need to use the wear a certain brand or use a certain technique or buy, you know, specific tools. You use whatever, excuse me, you want to, to get your makeup on in a way that you are satisfied with it. Beneath all of that, but more importantly than all of that, we stand for self-acceptance and self-love. Embracing your natural features, enhancing them if you want to, when you want to, but never feeling like you have to. Love yourself for who you are and for how you look, even when you're not wearing face paint. I need to let you know I do curse sometimes on my videos because I curse sometimes, period. And also, there's something that's living in my throat. And so I randomly, what is this? You know, I have all sorts of stuff going on and I don't know. And this goes all the way back to here. I don't, I don't know what's biting me or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, there's something that's living in my throat. Um, and so I randomly girl or hiccup or belch like a little baby in my videos and I do always say excuse me So I just want you to know that and you not hear something and be like ill Because yeah, I know it's it's gross to so but you have been warned. So let's get into these palettes I have four that I call green palettes and I do have quite a few greens in my lethal BYOPs um, Now I'm thinking should I pull those out because none of these only one of these is a monochromatic green and so I'm kind of thinking of I know y'all forgive me, but I didn't pull this out ahead of time. I'm going to pull out one of uh, my Lethal Cosmetics BYOPs because it does have quite a few greens. And it could be considered a green palette, the same as we're calling these green palettes, the ones that I'm going to show you. And I have them stacked according to how long I've had them. So you'll see the one I had the, the longest first and my most recent one, you'll see that last Am I not seeing what I thought I was going to see? Because none of these, um, excuse me, are looking green. Yeah, no. They have greens in them, but I wouldn't call them green palettes. Okay, so all of that was for nothing. Um, sorry. <laughs> so the one I've had the longest out of my green palettes, and it's only four. This is Martine Cosmetics Mission Triple X palette. And the greens stand out because it's bright. And then also, like, this is green. This collection was based on the Alien, I'll say Predator series. Every name in here, every shadow was named after a person that was in one of the Alien movies. But then when I last used this or I was talking about it, I'm like, but green, like the aliens aren't green. It's the Predator's blood that was green. So then I was kind of confused. But yeah, so these are all names of characters in the Alien movies. Parker, Joan, Kane, Jones, Carter, Bishop, Vasquez, Dwayne, Ripley, Dallas, Brett, Gorman, Crow, Ash, Maman, Hudson, Farrell, and Ron. So it's based on the Alien movies, but it's green like the Predator blood. But I do consider this a green palette only because the greens stand out. The greens are the pops of color. This doesn't show up as bright, neither does this one, but that's not green. But these two for me or like just blend out shades or for transition and today I have a green in this area but it just barely shows up but it's just enough to blend out if I feel like my lid shades up here need to be blended but it does add a little something something but it's not much and this shade is the same um I haven't tried them over black base which I probably won't um maybe this one because it's a metallic I usually don't put black excuse me matte shadows over shadow bases but I really do like this palette and it's none of these are monochromatic except one and so the last look i did with this was a gray silver look and it was beautiful and looking at this you wouldn't think okay do a gray silver monochromatic look but i didn't it was wonderful i've done quite a few looks with this palette and i need to put it back in rotation my collection is fairly small but i still find that there's just certain things that just don't get used as much the next one that I had the longest, which was not that long ago, was the Natasha Denona Yuga palette. And this is what it looks like. And I just love it because this gives me that swamp water murky look that I like. This, one of these is not, this is not original to this palette. This was a very pale 
kind of tan yellowish shade that did not show up on me at all. And so I thought, why are you in here? And so I took that out. I do believe everything else in here is original to the palette. I think, um, I do really enjoy this palette. These are the sparkling foil shades. These four, this is just a metallic. This shines bright. This is, this is bold. Um, and I really like it. If you put this next to this one, they will blend into one shade. Um, but looking in the pan and when you swatch them, they do look different. But one of the first looks I did, I think I put them side by side just to see. And they really did blend into each other. And these two kind of blend into each other as well. Even though you can clearly see this is green based and this is a purple. But my theory is because they're sparkling foil shades, the sparkling foil effect overshadows the actual color of the eyeshadow. That's just my theory. Because for these to be different and for them to show up the same on the lid, these two and this one and this one, when these are clearly not even in the same family, I was like, why do they show up that way? And in true Natasha Denona fashion, she will put similar shades in the palette as well. So these are just different tones, and this one is a, is a deeper tone than that one. And so when people complain about similar shades and palettes, she does that in all of her palettes. And, and other brands do it too. Uh, I'm not going to mention a certain brand that they just put out palettes with repeat shades. And Natasha doesn't do repeat shades, like the exact shade, name, and exact color. Um, but still, you know, some people say, well, there's, you know, too many repeat shades. These do show up different on me on my lid. This one does show up different on my lid than that one. And so I'm cool with that. One of my pet peeves is in a palette when looks, sh when, excuse me, when shadows show up the same. Because then it's like, why are you both here if you look the same on my lid? But for these, as long as I don't put them next to each other, they will look different. Um, and if I did one look with this as the primary lid shade and another look with this as primary lid shade... If I did one look one eye and another look on the other eye, they would still look similar, but it wouldn't look identical, especially if you put different shadows around it for outer corner and for your crease shade. But if you always do the same type of technique or shadow placement, then yeah, stuff is going to start looking more and more alike. And so I do try to switch things up. I really enjoy this palette. When I first seen it, I knew I was going to get it and I was going to pay full price for it. Um, <laughs> my, my, late night early morning chat bestie she sent me a code and so i did get this for 15 percent off because i was going to buy it either way and very seldom do i pay full price for um for makeup but that's when i saw it i'm like i'm getting it because just this murky look this murky vibe i knew i was going to get it the next one when i saw it i knew i was going to get it <laughs> notoriously morbid um this is bog witch y'all this palette i dare say this is monochromatic, but you can get looks that are not monochromatic out of it. And the looks I did, oh my word. For each of these palettes, I do have a playlist. So if you want to see the Mission Triple X looks, look at look up Martine Cosmetics Mission Triple X, and you'll see the, the videos of looks I did with that. And the same with Natasha Denona Yuka palette. You can put that in um, the search bar if there is one for my playlist, and that'll pop up. And for Notoriously Morbid, because I do only have four of the palettes it is just a notoriously morbid playlist and i have just a few videos for each of the palettes and my last two notoriously morbid videos and one was three palette um three looks three palette video and the other one one was four looks uh, four palettes in another video so all of my notoriously morbid are just in one playlist but then you can just filter through if you want to just see what I've done with Bog Witch so far. But I really love this palette. These shades right here are very rich. These are bright. I want to put these over a base to see if that intensifies those colors. These shades right here are beautiful. This is very bright. It surprised me. This is a nice blend out shade. It gives a little color, but not much. This is a nice murky swamp water shade. When I saw this palette, I knew I was going to buy it. Um, I did use Katie's code, which is lost 15 i now have a code with notoriously morbid which is dion loves 15 and you get 15 percent off which is great because most brands you only get 10 percent um notoriously morbid their the, their wait time to get it is 20 to 30 business days which means a month if you <laughs> add in the weekends but it was worth it 
and I I really love this palette this gives me that swamp water look that I like and even the Yucca palette and Mission Triple X Yucca is a little more earthy as far as the tones of the greens in there but this one you do have the variety of this bright shade this bright shade even though you have the sparkling foils in the yucca palette and so even though they're both kind of green well yeah they are both green palettes they are very different look at this like they are different and holding these this way this shade and this one i'm not giving you the finger i promise it looks like they may be the same but on my lid they're different and so there's not really any dupes, even though they're quote unquote green palettes. And so that excites me because I don't like to have dupes in my collection, but this little baby right here, it has me looking at their other nine pans. Cause usually I prefer 12 pan, 15, 18, but you, I can get variety from this because of this. Yep. I stuck my finger in it because of this middle row right here. And what I like about the Notoriously Morbid palettes is that they show you on the back what the shifts should be so that center shade that middle green shade this one right here this is what it should shift to on your lid and the pink one that was next to it and even the one on the bottom this corner shade is that the one i'm looking in the mirror to see if i can see this shift and you're not going to yeah, it's not showing up down here. Because I'm looking at this shade here. Because that's showing up as a shifty shade. But it's not showing the way that I am holding it. But even so, when I wore this on my lid, the shifts did show up. But this this is just a beautiful palette. And I'm excited for that middle row. And I just need to get back to it and put these over black base. Um, or even a brown. Because I just want to see if it's going to bring out the shifts. Or if it's going to just enhance or deepen how the shadows look. And so I'm just trying to see if they're going to turn. But notoriously, more of the shadows, sometimes the shifts don't show up until you put them on. And so I'm looking at this one in particular and that one, and it, they're not changing. They're not changing. Whereas other palettes, when you tilt it, you can see. But this is still just a beautiful palette, and I am excited to have it. And the next one, the fourth one, my most recent acquisition, which was gifted to me from No Man Cosmetics, the Ireland Wild Atlantic Way palette. And this is very different <laughs> than my other three green palettes. And it's not a monochromatic green. You can get, you know, coppery orange looks from here. You can get blue purple looks from here. Um, I do, what did I do? I did looks by columns. These two columns was a look. This, these two were a look, these two were a look, and the looks, they were, they were all different. This one was very green because you have these three greens, and this is a nice deep shade too, and this shines bright. I tapped this, I think I did a cat eye look or something like this, so this was just in the middle of my lid, and it was very pretty. This shade here just kind of buffs out into nothing for me, um, but it, it still serves a purpose, and the same with this one. It was just, it wanted to be ashy, but but it wasn't. And so, and I'm looking at this one over here as well. So these three on me have the potential to look ashy. Um, they don't show up much as color, but they are pretty. Like it shows up as a little something, something the same as my transition shade today. It's there, but it's not there. And I'm okay with that because if I were to put them, you know, on the lid, they would show up different. And so I'm really liking this palette. I'm glad that this is here. Like this um, purple shade here. This shade is a pressed pigment. It's not intended for use around the eye area. Most people don't have a problem with pressed pigments on their lids and I've seen a lot of people use it and I so far am the only one that has mentioned that it's not intended for eye area use and so I will not be using this on the lid and it's a very pretty shade, but I'm not going to use it on my lid because my lids don't like pressed pigments. And so, but these are my four green ish palettes. I'm going to see if I can hold them all up together because all of them are very different. And that excites me because, again, I don't want to have, you know, two, three palettes, four, and they all kind of look the same because then I'm looking at which one can I get rid of so that it's not just taking up space. And so, oh, we're going to see if we can do this. 
<sighs> Y'all, I'm a, if you're new here, I'm uncoordinated. I'm awkward. And so, oh shit. I dropped, oh shoot. I dropped Martine and Nomad. Oh, it fell in my lap. What and my finger dug into? <laughs> it hit the green and then it dug into the purple because I was trying to catch it. Where's my microfiber cloth at, really quick? Oh my goodness. Um, I did tell you I'm awkward and I have purple shadow on my pants. This is why I have indoor and outdoor clothes. I'm just trying to get the purple from under my fingernail. <laughs> I'm gonna have to just go wash it. This is why I have indoor clothes and outdoor clothes. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I dug in two shadows. Ah, uh, so you see where there's this mark up here. That went that way and this went that way. So my finger hit it and slid. So these two, and I can just press them back in, but they're not flaking or anything. Do I dare try this again? Yeah, but you know what? I'm going to put it on my lap. I'm going to hold these two first. Shoot. Um. <laughs> All right. We can do this. These eyeshadow palettes are not going to defeat me. And these are my other two. Y'all, I'm just like, hold up. Wait a minute. I'm trying to get the glares off of that the mirror from the yucca palette. It's pronounced yucca or yucca, depending on where you are in the world. Um, and there's a there's a name. There's not a name. There's a a meaning behind both yucca and yucca. And I forget what it is though. So these are my green palettes. I'm gonna take get the glares off so I can take a screenshot. This one wants to fall, wants to tilt. So let me just take a screenshot real quick without glares from the mirror. All right, here we go. All right, that's what, that's gonna be my um, thumbnail. So these are my green palettes, and as you see, they're all very different, and I love it. There's no dupes amongst these palettes. I'm excited about that. I'm looking at this one right here in the middle and this one right here. They look like they might be similar and I need to stop doing what I'm doing before I drop one of them again. But I'm really digging these palettes. I love that they're all unique. I'm glad to have them all in my possession. If you have whew, Mission Triple X from our team cosmetics, let me know if you have Nomad Cosmetics, Ireland, Wild Atlantic Way. Let me know if you have Bog Witch from Notoriously Morbid. Let me know. Um, and if you have the Yuka palette from Natasha Denona, let me know. I do have codes. I do have a code for Natasha Denona. And I already mentioned my code for Notoriously Morbid. I have a non-affiliated code for Nomad. Excuse me. I don't have any codes at all for Martine Cosmetics. And I'm I'm excited, excuse me, to see what they come up with next because I do like their formula, even though this formula is different as far as the metallics and shimmers. They're different from the ones in 669. But I'm waiting for another color story that is like, get me, and then I'm going to get it. And so far, between 669 and Mission Triple X, nothing has really called my name. So, but let me know your thoughts on the four of these. If you have them, if you don't, if you have your eye on them, Mission Triple X is no longer around as far as I know. Um, I do have a Beauty Bay link below, um, which does sell Martine Cosmetics products. And so if you do just want to check that out. And so, yes, lots of links down below. Um, I have exciting things coming up with the help of my members. And so if you're interested in the membership, that link is down below. It'll show you what the perks are and if it's worth it to you. And if you want to further support my channel, that's available to do. Um, but do let me know what you think about these green palettes because I'm excited about them. So we're going to go, as always, if you made it this far, um, put a troll emoji and a green heart, even though I usually use a black heart. And a high five if you made it, even though this is a shorter video than <laughs> my usual ones. And so we're going to go. Thank you for being here. As always, self-acceptance, self-love. That is the crazy troll nation way. Thank you. And you will see me soon.